Hey guys, JDBM here and welcome back to a brand new Survive the Hunt video and we are starting in our usual spot which is the university and I'm going to get moving at 2pm. It is absolute chaos as usual. The hunters have all nicely lined themselves up but the cops decided to get involved because they're all installed in cars because they have their dotted cars around their cars dotted around the map. So, at 2pm, that's when I get to go, hence why I have just left. And I now have a two-hour head start period to basically get myself into the map of Los Santos, find myself a different car to swap into, change my style, and, yeah, then the hunters are allowed to, to leave, and, yeah, the hunt starts, basically. And then I have 24 hours from when they leave, which is at 4pm, and then at 4pm, I've got 24 hours from then. So, ooh, okay, so we're gonna... I'd like that felon, because the felon's actually quite a quick car. Actually, I don't need to leave my car about. I can just ditch you on the street. I'm wary that the cops are still about, so I don't know if it might be worth me waiting for a oh, it's convertible. I'm not a big fan of convert. Okay, we'll just steal you. Okay, we'll go with you. We'll put the oh, roof up, shit. and then no questions need to be asked. Uh, I'm now going to go to my vehicle, return it to storage, so then they don't even have a clue as to where I have ditched my car or anything like that. I've got two stars on me, which is nice. So Lester, let's do remove wanted level already, before we even get going. Hello. And then by the what time we need it, you? it'll be... No problem. The I'll cooldown for it will have back. cooled off. Right, so that is one objective done, which is steal a car, and the second objective I need to do before my time is up is change my style. And we are going for... Da -da -da -da, survive the hunt number one. Look at this. Got some blonde hair, bit of a checkered top. Yeah, it's a bit of a different style. Why not? Also, roof is going up. I'm not driving around without a roof up, because if anything, it's a bit of protection from any potential headshots if I'm driving away from a hunter shooting at me. Cool. Really? I mean, the other hunters, the other AI have to see, like, have the rooftops down for any convertibles, but we'll be absolutely fine. So, I've done my two objectives of sw swapping my car, changing my style within the first hour. Now, what do I do within the hunt itself with the 24 hours? How do I keep entertaining? Well, for the, my regular viewers, you guys already know what I'm about to say, and you already know how it works. For my new of my newer viewers, the people who may miss maybe your first time watching this, oh no. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> right, okay. Okay, we need to change a car. We'll take you, thank you very much, ma'am. <sighs> Fair plays from the hunters. <laughs> Send a mugger on me. Well, yes, so much for that fella, no? We've uh, swapped into the Dinker Blister instead, gone for a compact. I don't think it's the quickest car in the world, but it's it's nippy, so we'll just hope it does the trick. Anyway, like I was saying before, I was really interrupted. For my newer viewers, you know, welcome to the show. Hope you enjoy what I'm doing. Uh, obviously, this is my original idea. The original person who came up with Survivor the Hunt was, of course, Fail Race, but I've just adapted it into my own hunt and created my own my own, my own rules, my own ways to basically call it my own Survivor the Hunt. So, obviously, credit goes to Fail Race, but. This is a JDB Gaming Survive the Hunt. So, what am I doing? As I've just got into the car in front of me. Have I done any damage? No, nothing really. Barely a scratch. No need to get out and exchange insurance details or anything like that. <clears throat> anyway, sidetracked once again. I've got 10 cars to blow up. So, 10 of the hunters have placed their personalised cars. Oh, my. Around the second time I've tried to... Oh, they're leaving in literally 7 GTA minutes. And I'm still on the run. What? Well, this is a fantastic start. I didn't realise I was going to have such an issue straight away. Okay, so I'm going to keep going as far away as possible from what yeah, two minutes from the, the hunters. So at least when they be released, they can't immediately find me running away from the cops. This is ridiculous. This is it's because I got obviously mugged and I had to steal another car and so technically the cops were looking for a different stolen car. Anyway, right. Ten cars I've got to blow up around the map. Ten of the hunters have placed their personal this vehicle on the map for me to blow up. This is this is stupid. I've, I've never had such a messy start and they're all released. So, 4pm is when the hunt starts. 
And I've now got till 4pm the next day to survive, so 24 hours. Those 10 cars that I've been talking about and trying to, to, to mention, they I will show you the map now. And as you can see, they're all over the place. So we, I've just drove, driven past another police station. Great idea. Anyway, you can see them all about the map. I don't really have time to go through the list, unfortunately, because I've got to focus on losing these, <laughs> these bloody cops. Um, okay, we are losing them. No, I don't have a map, so I actually have no idea where they are. So... It might be worth me swapping out of this blister. Hey, which one of my skills is required? Oh, another minute. Call back when your brain has started working. Okay, so yeah, didn't have enough time to sort of tell you all the exact locations, but you could see from the map itself where the ten cars were dotted. So, you know that that'll that'll have to do for this one. <laughs> oh my god, what a messy start! I didn't think we'd be. There we go. We've lost the cops. Thank God for that. Uh, cars are actually mm, pretty good nick apart from that broken window. Okay, well. <laughs> Person who's recording the map, which is Lauren Kalsgo Moo, she's probably going to be wondering, what the hell am I doing just driving at full neck speed just to the bottom right of the map? The reason I've done that is because it's the furthest point away from the, where the hunters have started, so at least I had a bit of safety in knowing that driving as quick as I can to this location I wasn't going to get immediately spotted so thank god for that the only thing I'm thinking of is if I need to change my car but I don't want to change it again and then the cops get on me once again it's just it's a massive ball leg I just really don't want that so I'm thinking of sticking with this but the broken window is really not ideal so I'm trying to think if I can go to a pay and spray and quickly fix my car. I can hear sirens again, which must mean that the hunters are close, maybe? I don't know, you know. Okay. Okay. Right, let's bring the pace of this hunt right down. <laughs> we don't normally have such a hectic start, and technically such a... He well, yeah. And also such a hectic start without the hunters involved either, so... Gonna bring it down a peg or two. And uh, focus on what we're doing. So after the guys get released, I then have a two-hour period where I cannot blow the cars up. Now, the reason being is so it gives them a chance to spread out. So when I do eventually get to blow up a car, they're near the area. Because if I did it straight away from when they got released, like at the bottom right corner where I just visited near the docks um, in Cypress Flats, there'd be no point at all. It, obviously, one of them would get notified saying, oh, my car's been blown up, but by the time they get to the area, I'm, I'm already clear, probably swapped a car, and I'm, I'm absolutely fine and safe. The other thing I've just realised, actually, is I get to do one body armour at the start. Now, as I actually haven't got an interaction with a hunter, it's all right. The other thing I'm allowed to do is snack up with P's and Q's. So I'm just going to quickly snack up my health as much as possible because I anticipated I probably did get a shot a couple times by the cops, but I should be fine. Thinking about it with that window, let me just get to my hand. There we go, unarmed. Wrong way. And, okay, there we go. Oh, I've broken the window, which really isn't ideal. Let's just do it again. There we go. Window's now down, which is perfect, because I'll need the window down anyway when it comes to me throwing a sticky bomb out if I do a drive-by sticky bomb. Well, that two-hour period is now up, because we got released at 4pm, so 6pm is when I can start blowing up. So I can now start thinking about which car I'm going to go for. And the closest car to me at the moment is the one at the Chinese Monument. So, probably our best bet is to go over towards the Chinese Monument, which is just down the road. Uh-oh, I'm in a stolen car and I'm about to go past the police station. Please don't get attracted to me. Well, I'm, hover I'm going to hover over Leicester ready, if needs be. Actually, if I'm going to go for the Chinese Monument... I take it this isn't a social call. I'm going to do it early. When it goes green, I'm going to immediately press cops on a blind eye. Okay, that's not going to be a problem. And so now the cops cannot get on me. So I've got a bit of safety that way. And even if the cops weren't going to go on me then, it at least means now I am definitely covered. Oh, I've just realised I need to be on another road to turn left there, which is a bit frustrating. It's fine, we'll do a, we'll do, we'll do a loop around the block. Okay. By, bide my time, I know we've technically got three minutes on the clock when I activated it, so I do need to sort of pick up the pace a 
to get there. Otherwise, I've just used cops on a blind eye for nothing. But I don't want to rush it. We've got 24 hours to survive and to stretch this out and basically make sure that, you know, but I, what I'm trying to say, or in a really haphazardly way, is I don't need to rush it. Don't need to do anything stupid just yet. I know I do stupid things later down the road. Oh, come on. Thank you. Now we're going to steer away. Okay, we're all good. You turned off as well. Perfect. A lot of you, like, 4x4 SUV type vehicles spawning. Lights are on as well. Perfect. Oh, look at that. Another blister. I am really close to that blister in front of me. That's all right. Okay, there's some bright coloured tops going about. Obviously, when the guys... Oh, actually, they won't be able to see my what I'm wearing too much. They might be able to see it's maybe checkered or light coloured, but nothing to immediately give me away, so that's all right. Now, whilst I'm looking at the bike, with regards to the vehicles I'm allowed to use, I'm allowed to jump in anything that spawns. However, there are some restrictions to that, so not everything, technically. So the only things I'm not allowed to jump into are supers. No one's allowed supers, just too quick. And we're not allowed bikes, as there's a bike right behind me, because we tried bikes before, it just doesn't seem to really work, so we just avoid bikes. And the last one is... What's the last one? Oh, sports. I'm allowed sports, but the hunters are not allowed sports. I'm allowed that bit of pace advantage. Why have you turned your lights off? Because obviously they've got the numerical advantage. Today we have 50, 14 glorious hunters. I say 15 because one is turning up late. So we will eventually have... 14, 15 hunters, as I'm trying to do two things at once. And we all know that I cannot multitask. Now I've got 30 seconds, so I need to make sure that this is snappy. And we both know how terrible grenade throws are, so I'm just going to pull up here. Check my surroundings, nothing's there, nothing's there. Pull the grenade, hopefully this lands. Okay, got the car, perfect. And we can now drive away, and with 11 seconds, I should be safe on the cops too. Oh, talk about the nick of time. Couldn't have timed that any better. So it did take me the full three, three minutes to circle around the block, get into position, and then blow the car up. So that's nice. But that's one car down already. So the hunters will have now been notified. Whoever's car that was will have gone. Right, my car's over by the Chinese monument. It's just been blown up, so head over there. That's why we can start to hear sirens, because that's probably a few hunters. There's the chopper as well, so definitely hunters are, are, are about. I need to make need to time my exit perfectly, because uh, I don't want to dart around. The, there's no point darting away straight away, because it'll just put a red arrow above my head, and if the guy see a car darting away, they're obviously going to inspect it. Now, there's some sort of strategies to how I could play. I could... Try and get away from the area as quickly as possible, like I said, with a bit of speed and hope that I can get away and they won't inspect it. As you can see, right now, that chopper is looking towards the other side. He's now coming towards me, which isn't great. I need to keep an eye on the lights. So, it's not great. Um, well, not great, sorry. It, yeah, what am I trying to say? Yeah, either way, go away quickly, or I can hang around in the area and hope that the guys won't assume that I'm in the immediate area. Oh. Speaking of that, that is one hunter. I don't know where he's gone. I think he might have turned right in towards the... Uh, ...canal area where I just came from. So might have just avoided him. Now we're in a long line of traffic here. And we're going to turn right. Because even if that turns red, we can still turn right. Unless it's an AI that wants to turn right. But... So, okay. That's alright. Groovy. As long as it's not me at the front of the queue blocking the AIs, they won't have a problem sitting behind. Someone else who wants to turn right, so. And that's another hunter. Don't know if it's the same one we saw a second ago, but he's driven away quickly, so. We sort of hung around in the area. I mean, we weren't too close, but we might have been in the immediate facility because obviously the. Uh, uh, what do you call the canal area where I just was? It's literally just a road over from the Chinese monument, which is just over in that direction. I can hear the chopper very faintly. I don't know if he's about anywhere. Okay, it's green light, so focus on that instead of the chopper. We're going to turn right so we can get away nice and quick. 
Okay. Right, one car down, nine to go. Where could I go next? Well, I'm thinking that the next car I could go for is... Either the one at the underground car park next to Legion Square, like by the FIB building. Uh, or the one that's on top of the ammunition car park um, next to Leicester. Because they're right next to each other. Obviously, not right next to each other, but they're, they're, they are... They're pretty close to one another, so I'm thinking if I get one of those, it could be a bit of a safe escape. Like, gets one of them out of the way, um, doesn't technically desert the area. So, like, with that Chinese Monument one, what I'm thinking is, if I was to go for... I'm trying to think of one that's in a corner. Uh, I don't think we have one directly in a corner. Uh, oh, you know, I'll ignore my thinking. We can see a hunter being chased by cop cars. So normally when we hear, well, normally when I hear sirens, it's normally a good sign that there's hunters being chased by them. So, you know, it's, all, it's a good indication that they're on the way, basically. You know, if I'm not sure if a hunter's coming or not, just look out here for, here for some sirens and it normally means the hunter's about. And they're having trouble losing the cops as well. So that's a good thing. It also means they're distracted, so I don't have to worry about them technically coming onto me now. Because I know I'm in a stolen car and sometimes the police, when they're bored, they just go, Right, what's the next bit of action? Oops, stolen car over there. Let's go do that. One star of him. Um, that's not genuinely the thinking process, but... <laughs> for this little bit, it is the thinking process. Anyway. So, it's nice when you know the cops are elsewhere. It means that I've got a bit of freedom. I can breathe for a second and not have to worry about the cops being on my back. Right, so we could either go after these next lights. I can turn left towards the one that's the underground car park. Now, the only the only thing that I'm thinking about with that is there's only two exits, so it's some immediate areas for the for the uh, hunters to cover. But if I can get in and out quickly, I might be all right. It's just getting out, getting out nice and quickly. Uh, oh, okay. I'm gonna go straight because it gives me another time to think, another chance to think. Oh, there's a bit of a siren then. Don't know what that was about. Um, oh my. Can you guys just behave? Instead of double back. Oh. If a hunter passes, they're immediately going to notice this. So let's just get going. So if I turn right, a bit more of an open space. More chance of me to be able to get away. So we'll go for the, the safer option for the time being. Like I said, no need to rush this. We've got plenty of time. We've had, well, started from 4 p.m. So we've nearly had, well, that's six hours now. So, well, actually, technically seven because it's now going to be 11. But anyway, we've done one car in that time. Okay, not the quickest hunt in that sense. But, you know, I don't, I don't want this to be a short hunt. Because when it's a short hunt, I then have to find some other footage to chuck on. On the end of this for you guys to have to... To watch and well not not even watch sometimes you don't need to watch it but it's just to keep you guessing as to when you see the video go up you don't see oh it's 24 minutes or something and you, well he's clearly died hasn't he whereas if i always my aim i, I aim for about 52 to plus minutes really oh, i'm gonna go left so we can loop around the block uh the reason i go for yeah 52 plus is then means that when you guys see the video uploaded you can't immediately tell if i've died or not now it's never occurred to me until till, until now you could easily do what some people do with books which is go to the very end of the book and read the last page to see how it ends you could very easily go to the very end of the video and see what's happening if you know it's not the hunt anymore you know that i've died whereas if you know if it's still a hunt you know i've still survived by spoiling the ending and that's more for you really it's up to you everyone has their own choices but i say don't skip i say watch this all the way through <laughs> Uh, I might be a bit biased there, but yeah, we'll see, won't we? We'll see how it goes. But it's been good. It's been good. And like I said before, yeah, the action with these... Cool, I can do cops and blind out. One second, let's start. I'll come back to you. Yeah, I'll come back to you in a so second. Uh, there's no point in me doing it now. So, I'm trying to think, if I stay on top of the roof, if they're going to initially find me I'd rather do that in a quicker car like think a blister's nippy but
but if a lot of them are in Lampadati felons, which I noticed a few of them were at the start, those are quick coupes, and so those would easily keep up with what I'm driving. So I'm just trying to think of what my best plan of action is, because I could try and risk it, stay still, and hope I don't get spotted, like park in a corner, maybe even get out and hide, but chances are they'll send someone up there to notice, won't they? What the hell just happened? I can't pull up with that there, can I? I'll go for it. Okay, so... <laughs> He's just noticed. A car pull up to the car park, hasn't he? I'm just gonna have to casually drive away like nothing's happened and hope he didn't spot me okay let's just casually go on to the highway and hope the hunter doesn't spot that he didn't spot it it's lovely okay so I probably shouldn't have gone into the car park right under the nose of the chopper as I'm probably sure the chopper is still on me seeing what my actions are what my movements are because I think I can faintly hear chopper blades I might be wrong but better to be on the safe side okay we're going to go under cover I think that's probably our best bet in this situation get some cover so he can't see which way we're going because he's definitely still on me I could do these lights being nice and green. If I see anyone approach me, I'm going. I could do them going green. So then I can go under cover and drive away as quickly as possible. I can still hear the chopper. to hold my nerve then oh blimmin hell I had to hold my nerve I don't know if he's still going to be following this car really don't know I think he's lost interest Oh my giddy ants, that was that was a heart in the mouth moment then. Cause I was afraid that he was gonna be directing someone onto me. Excuse me. Can't just do that, honestly. Some some drivers. Oh. So Yeah, I was worried that Hunter was gonna come barreling in from behind to inspect the area. Or, you know, so and I'm just there as a sitting duck as a load of them are approaching me. Thankfully no one no one arrived and so I was able just to go underneath the bridge like I said and I think the chopper just lost lost interest now if he's if he was genuinely following me and he's now watched his back he's going to be really bummed and speaking of the chopper he's just lagged out Okay, so this is a perfect time for me to go and get that car that's in this car park. So change of plan, instead of going for Simeon's, I'm going to go for this one. And they've of course blocked the exit. So, I'm going to do a sneaky little move again. Can I actually just move this? Oh, I can. How perfect is that? So I can just run in behind. Okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do... Let's 
Leicester. I'm going to do cop sign a blind eye. Hey there. Okay. What can I help you Thinking with? Thinking this through. Cop sign a blind there. eye. Enjoy. Throw that. Make my dart to the back of the car. That's it. That's blown up. I'm going to get in my blister now. And use this as the perfect time to get away from the scene of the, cr the crime scene or the scene of the crime. And do a bit of make my own lanes up. No one's seen that. And we're nice and safe. Able to carry on and lust just like that. Nothing's happened. We're safe and sound. I'm thinking now Now I've got cops on a blind eye. I'm thinking I could probably utilise that. And maybe do another car. I don't want to push my luck. But I definitely think that's a possibility. Like, why not, you know? Go for another one. I'm going to do it. With mirror park just there. I'm going to grab onto it. Get out of the air and then blow it up whilst I've still got less than two minutes left. Depends what this supercar in front of me does. But we will wait and see. Okay, right, it's clear. I'm going to get smashed into. Oh, I have been messaged. What does the message say? Uh, Live car might not be there. As in okay, yeah, that's fine. So, obviously, the, the chopper, um, cross-legged. He has his car placed at Lifeguard Tower, so that won't be there at the moment because he lagged out, so no point going for the Lifeguard Tower. But there is a point to go for the Mirror Park because it's right around the corner. I don't think the guys have necessarily predicted this move. So if we could pick up the, the Pace sports car so I can get there, blow it up and go again, that would be lovely. As I'm going to be... Oh! Thoroughly follow, followed up the arse by that car. And I'm just going to do a bit of a cheeky left. Just to move things along. Because, you know, no harm in doing it. Anything happening? No. No hunters. I think we're safe. I think we're safe. Let's go for it. Yep, that's the car gone. Nicely moved, done, nicely done. And then we move nice and quick to get away from the area. We'll spin it and away we go. Now I'm thinking maybe staying in the area might be a bit of a good move. Because obviously I've just moved quickly from the, what do you call it? Uh, underneath the FIB building, so the underground car park near Legion Square. I was there obviously not too long ago, a couple minutes ago. So they're thinking that I'm probably going to be moving nice and quick. I say this, but the fugitive in front of me is not moving. Yep, yeah, there's a hunter. Come on, fugitive. Am I going to have to... Oh, thank God I'm not stuck behind you. Okay, there we go. See, my point exactly. They thought I moved out of the area probably very quickly again. So it's almost a good idea for me to stick in the area just for a second or two. Because they're probably thinking, well, he's, he's moved really quickly then. He's going to probably be doing some hot... Um, oh my God, how have I thought my phrase? He's going to probably be doing some... Uh... Oh my God, what is it? Heavy metal surviving. Jesus. My God. Could you hear the cogs ticking then as I was trying to figure out my own bloody phrase? Anyway. Probably thinking I'm going to be doing a bit of heavy metal surviving. So going through some cars quickly. So if I can, like I said, stay in the area. They probably won't predict that move. Which I don't think they have. Because I can't hit the chopper. And I've only seen one hunter. So I think we're alright for the time being. That's not a lane to my right, so unfortunately I've got to stay behind this car. I could be cheeky and even go for this one at the casino. I just think that's too close to home. I might leave the casino one then. It's right there, but I don't want to do too many close to them. Because 
the hunters will be dragged over to this side. They might be thinking that I'm darting all the way to the other side of the map now, but it's more most likely the majority of them are still going to be over towards this side. The wall may be this side, this side is like the east side of the map. My god, the AIs. So, yeah, there, there we go. It's almost like I predicted it. I knew they would be towards this area, and if I pulled into the casino car park before, obviously, he came around the corner, he probably would have seen me, and that would have been my first chase. Now, I know a lot of you are going, oh, I want to chase. And I get that, but <laughs> I want to survive. That's the, that's the end game, isn't it? Obviously, I want to make sure that these videos are entertaining for you all, because if they're not entertaining, you're not going to want to come back and watch another one, which... <laughs> Which would make me really sad, but <laughs> so, uh, but well, it'll come. You know, we'll just hopefully my commentary alone is entertaining enough. <laughs> oh, that's the be probably the best joke I've said all night, isn't it? <laughs> oh dear. I don't know. I don't know how I do these hunts in the sense of I don't know how I ramble on. I've just seen the time, and we've survived half our time. So. It's been 13 hours actually, 13 and a half hours. And we've done three cars, so that's like a car every other four hours. Yeah, every four hours. Not every other four hours, bloody hell, that would be really bad. But every, every just over four hours, so we're just, we're taking a rough average, because I can't be asked to figure out the exact maths for it. But, yeah, it's not too bad. I'm thinking... Oh, you know what, I think I might... There's one on this top road. Which is the oh, this is the Vinewood Road? Um, the let's just look at my list. Why don't I just do that? The tra the railway diner. There we go. Got it. The railway diner. I could go for that one because it's literally just over here. Or I could keep going. I could go for the the not casino, the golf course. So I have my options. There's a lot of blisters spawning. So being in a blister is actually a really good disguise. Because I'll go onto the radar immediately. And it's not done me badly. I'm, you know, I'm, you know, so far he's, okay, I've got tailgated for a little bit by a chopper. But, you know, it's, don't think it's going to have been investigated just yet. So, yeah, no reason to really switch. I might change that opinion if we get into a chase and I immediately get caught. Uh, I'm a little bit cautious of that because... Like I said, the guys are in some coupes, and nothing wrong with that. Obviously, they're allowed, but coupes are distinctively faster than what I'm in. There is a right lane to go right. Why are you going around that way? Okay, I was a little bit worried when I saw him going around that it might have been a hunter, but no, it's just impatient AIs, so nothing to worry there. Oh, pardon me. Whilst my eyes are on. A felon in front of me. I think it's a Lampadati felon. Felon GT? I don't know. Can't remember. One or the other. I don't know if it's worth me literally just switching. Because it is so quick. I know the blister's done me. Oh, I've dawdled too long. I'm just going to have to commit with what we got. Oh, jeez. That was a bit of a weird movement. Turning left to go right? Bloody hell. Oh, Lord Lord killed Hydro. <laughs> Bit of miscommunication there between the hunters. Always like to see it. Okay. Okie dokie. What have we here? Well, we're just going to have to... Oh. Wind our way through. <laughs> That's sneaky. Sneaky from the hunters. Now there's the car I need. I'm th could be a good idea actually for me to go into the car park and just grab one of those cars or even hide in one of those cars. I don't know. I'm not sure. Okay, we're going to get on foot. It seems like we're safe. 
he says. Yeah, there's a hunter who's just caught and come in. Okay, that was really unfortunate timing. Oh, it's a bit of lag. Okay, this isn't good. Probably means that I'm going to get tailboned from somewhere. Okay, chopper's on me now. Well, we're getting the chase in the blister, which is not ideal. Chuck some lefts quickly to try and avoid the hunters getting onto me. Oh, oh, oh. Have I lost them already? I think I might have lost the hunters already. Oh, maybe not. Just, just, that's just like Nezhul. There's no, there's no reason to ram me up the arse here. Oh, I thought I could get away with it nice and safe, but I didn't. Oh, okay, he's still following me. That's really bad lag in this, this server today. Okay. Oh, I've got the initial acceleration on that fugitive, so that's a good thing. Oh, there we go. Sneak onto there. Okay, not the best bit of steering. But we'll take it. I'm trying to see if I can now lose him. <laughs> okay, so we're, we're, we're fairly well matched for pace. If he can crash, that would be amazing. Just weave in and out of traffic, make it difficult for him to see which way I'm going. you see that? Oh, there's damage to my car. What am I doing? Yep, he's seen me U-turn. God's sake. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Gator Nation killed. Oh, there's another hunter I've just whizzed past. And <laughs> hasn't thought anything of it. Run, 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 run. Okay. So I was a bit more hectic than I would have wanted. Slash anticipated. And it was all because I got an impromptu race at the bloody tra railway car. You know, there's, there's no cars spawning here. Do some fucking bench presses or something. Nice. Okay, well, if nothing's here, thankfully there's no car at the pier. So it's not like we have that to worry about. Okay, no one's about, so we can pick the pace up a little bit. I was anticipating there to be a car here, so that's a bit of a, an annoying scenario. There not being one. Either one can just drive down now and I can just take it, or I'm going to have to go across the street and steal one from this car park. Because I'm sure there's always one over here. There's got to be. Yeah, thank God. I was going to say, don't prove me wrong now, Rockstar. And there's normally some... Oh, I don't know what that was. Normally some very nice choices. Like, look at these sports cars. Oh, I don't know what to steal. But this could be good cover again. And it actually did me well. Hmm... The atmosphere in the city. Okay, we're gonna go for Lampidate. We've been talking about it for a while. Oh, why can I hear the chopper? Well, there's a reason why I probably shouldn't because it's clearly a car that Simeon wants and it's just getting me stars every time. Hey, how can I help? Let's remove that one oh, level hey. as quickly You're as possible. In mm, okay, I'll deal with it.
Now, I've always spoken about stealing a cop car, and it is very, very tempting, but my attire is just not cop-related at all. If I was just in, like, complete black or something like that, it could work, which I have tried before, because I've thought about doing it, but it's not worked out because there's been no cop cars parked at the... Uh, what do you call it? No cops, cop cars parked at the... Here, oh, so Cross Legs Internet is now down. Okay, interesting. So, it probably means his car's not been put back. I wasn't sure if he joined in or not. No, he... Has he? Or has he... Is Cross Legs' name there? I can't see Cross Legs. Mm. No, he's not. Oh! It was a green light, for God's sake. Oh, about to go past. About to go past the police station. Please don't get interested in me. Okay. I think we're good for the time being. So Crosslegs hasn't joined. I just noticed AJ has, so we have... So lifeguard tower gone as Dave went. Okay. So there's no lifeguard tower. So we've done another kill. Look at that, guys. We're really moving through them. We've got four down now. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to claim that. <clears throat> <laughs> right, so, railway track car, bit of a no-go area, cost me a chase, a cheap chase really, for the uh, the hunters to found me. Did we seriously have a green light and no one... Oh, just unbelievable. Unbelievable. Anyway, railway, the, the railway diner, caused us some issues, so we'll avoid that. The other one I was tempted by is the golf course, so we're going to take a left up here and go towards the golf course, because yeah, it's the next car on my list. Well, not on my list, but the next car that I had in mind. Other than that, I think we've still got the one on top of the car park by um, ammunition. We've still got arena, paperclip, and casino. So it's, I've sort of done the ones in the middle. It's now just the, the cars on the outer reaches of the map. So... A bit of travelling, but, you know, the highway's right there. We can do that nice and simply. Probably head over to the paperclip after this. It's a bit of a journey, but I'm prepared for it. We're all in this together, aren't we? 11 o'clock, so we've got five hours left. So I could probably do with another, yeah, another car. So, yeah, well, another car or two, maybe. Well, we'll get the one definitely the, the golf course. That's what I'm heading for, unless I'll get cut out or something. And what we mean by cut out is intercepted. Which is a pun because we have someone whose PSN name is Interceptor, so... Yeah, that's really, really, really poor, but... <clears throat> Whoa! <laughs> that actually made me jump a little bit. Bloody hell, how he didn't manage to hit any of us as we were stuck in that line of traffic, I don't know. He just flew out of nowhere! Absolutely... Yeah, just flew. So, blitzed it. Oh... Well, I'm going to imagine that's a green light and just, just carry on. No one needs to ask. No questions need to be asked, officer. It's all right. Okay. We're making some good time. I didn't realise, actually, we had just under five hours left of the hunt to go. So, we've done really well, actually. I'm, I'm, I'm proud. We've had, had the chase that we've all really wanted. And I think because I was bobbing in and out of traffic... I thought I managed to escape him. My U-turn really screwed him over. I don't think anyone else had eyes. I think when we go watch it back, I think Richie, who was in that Dominator just past me a second ago, he's going to kick himself when he saw me flying past and didn't think anything of it. He must have just been one of those situations where his camera angle just wasn't looking as I just whizzed past him, which I so hope so, because that is going to be hysterical to hear his reaction when I go and chat to the guys afterwards. And also hysterical when I mention it in The Soul Happened, which I know I've briefly touched upon as well, but... We're doing them again, so what happens, the decision as well, in case you haven't watched the So What Happens, as I'm going to do for all the hunts that I haven't done the So What Happened for yet, I will do them all in separate videos and catch up, so. But I'm sure if you guys have watched the So What Happened, you've probably heard me explain that already, so this is sort of old news for you already. Why are the cops here? What are they doing near the golf course? Should I just lob it at the other side of the... I'm going to lob it at the other side. Yeah, we're going to park up. Do a Kobe. Rest in peace. Oh, okay. What do you need exactly? Just noticed a car pull in. And all done. You're good. A blister just pulled in there. So it's high chances that it's one of the hunters. Now I need to make sure if he leaves, I've got eyes on. If not, I need to... 
But yeah, there he is in the blister there. And he's now leaving. Can I get back over this fence? I don't know, let's see. Okay, we can, we can, we can. Cool. Whilst we've got here, we're just going to pull out the good guns to make sure that if I do get into a gunfight, I'm not scrambling at the last second, so... Let's go for the good ones. Okay, cool. We're all prepared. That assault rifle is the main one I want to go for. Babe, call my assistant. We'll set something up. Don't believe it. As long as we can see it, we can blow it up. Cock it, drop it. And yeah, watch it blow up, really. So now we get back in my felon. And we drive away like nothing's happened and as long as that orange car behind me blister and that white fugitive i'm looking at is not a hunter which it is yep yeah, impromptu is right there that's it follow the sports car <laughs> oh baby okay okay well that was an unbearably close moment and how long have we got left okay we've just got over two hours left well I'm heading along the top road again so we could go for that rail car the uh oh yeah the rail car that could be a good idea I mean it's risky but with two hours left, it could be worth doing it. I'm not going to be doing anything stupid, though, because I've had a couple of hunts where I've done something stupid at the last minute and lost the hunt. Okay, there's another hunter coming. I mean, if they get into a chase now, the hunters need to make sure that it ends quickly. Because otherwise, they get into a long chase, they won't have enough time to do anything. The only problem is I don't want to do a mistake if I'm doing a chase and I decide to do something stupid, do a bit of heavy metal surviving, and it then costs me. See that? I don't know if it's worth having a pot shot. Oh, there's a blister whip, whip, whipping, whipping, whizzing through. Oh, another hunter whizzing through. Richie, nice to see you, even though you can't see me. I don't know whether it's worth just getting out and having a shot, you know. Hit him, hit him. Oh, that was so bloody close. That was, that was so close. That's got to spook the shit out of him. Excuse my language. Why am I... Oh, Lord Lard got ants. So a bit of a miscommunication there. Bad driving from me. Okay, there's a lot of action going on there. <laughs> and just killed Mike back. <laughs> well, whilst they're messing about over at the railway <laughs> diner, I'm going to nip over to the, the casino and see if I can do a little bit of last minute heavy metal surviving and just tick a few more cars. Let's see how many we can get in these last few minutes. Cool. Throwing it. Oh. Cool. Oh, hello. 
Gonna shoot you. Oh no! No, not like this! Get down! Get down! <laughs> no way! How long is left? Oh, that would have counted as well. Oh my god, I shouldn't have gone for that. <laughs> that was such a risky escape. Bloody hell. I thought I was toast, but I couldn't get out then. I knew if I got out, I would have really have committed to the death. So I just had to hope that he couldn't get the accuracy off on the shots. Oh, <laughs> and skill to Gary. Bit of miscommunication between the hunters again. Oh, there's a hunter right there. What am I doing? Oh, he's right hot on my heels. Okay. Let's try and lose him. Oh, don't crash into those cars. You, watch out, fugitive. Okay, we've got less than an hour. So I'm just going to focus on what I'm doing. Then we can have a look at the, the time. Have a time update in a second. Don't worry about getting rid of the cops either. Just focus on your driving. Oh, there's a hunter. Oh, hello. Make him think I'm going to go for the car. Not really. Oh, nice. Fail the jump. Oh, send him. <laughs> Hang on, he went absolutely flying. I want to get that. Oh, I couldn't see it, but... <laughs> Absolutely hysterical. And this is where the felon comes into his element. Because it's so quick. Oh, come on. What's the time? Have a look at the time. 15 GTA minutes. They are so close to me. Oh, this is where the pace of the felon is really helping. Don't do anything stupid. Don't crash. Oh, my God. Just get the car under control. So, it's a few GTA minutes left. Ah, oh, so he's gone flying past. I think that is going to call it as well. We're just going to watch the clock down as they are still all on me as well. And there we go. 4 p.m. Hunt is up. There we go. And we killed Interceptor. And can we get the chopper for good luck? No, nope, we can't. Missed him. No, nope, missed him again. Oh! We'll take that one though. Oh! <laughs> what the hell? That's another car. Oh, another few gone. <laughs> and there we go. Zomba has got me. <laughs> right, well, a bit of a manic end right there. That could have gone terribly wrong. We managed to literally just about clutch it. And we saw 4 pm pass, and so, wow, wow, wow. Well, there we have it. That was quite the spectacle. I was worried it wasn't going to be too exciting, but it's end, ended with an absolutely smashing ending. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. This has been an absolute blast to record, and I hope you guys absolutely uh, love it when you watch it. If you do, uh oh, I'm about to be mowed down. Oh! Hang on, let me let me just... I need to just kneel, deal with a oh, pest. Okay, and the pest managed to get me too. <laughs> Oh dear, there we go. Anyway, um, if you have enjoyed it, then do let me know down in the comments. I love to hear what you guys have to say. Like I said, it's been an absolute blast for me, so I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Yeah, and that's pretty much all from me. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you're new around here and you haven't already. Also, there will be the sort of happen for this video as well. We'll be watching what the hunters have to say during the hunt. And so it'd be, I'd love it if you guys could stick around and watch that. Obviously, it'll be a little bit after we've done this video. But yeah, that's all from me. Thank you so much. Hope you're all having a nice morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you are in the world as well. And until next time, JDB Gaming signing off. Outer Monday.